Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice and of course back at it again with another WWE reaction. Yes guys, it is here. It has arrived. The biggest event, the biggest WrestleMania, the most stupendous night has finally reached us here. That is WrestleMania 38 and I'm here to react of day one. And of course, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share because sharing Ivor and Spice is caring. And if you always want to contribute to this channel to help improve the quality content of this channel, you can always click on the link description, contribute via PayPal, or also catch me live on a watch along for May Night game or any other game to send your super chat, guys. But yes, WrestleMania 38 has finally come and it has arrived. And what a night it was for day one. Yes, the biggest matches weren't really on show, but not when I'm talking about the biggest game match, I'm talking about, of course, the big one. Brock Lesnar versus. Um, sorry, I forgot his name. Roman Reigns for a hot second. I don't know how I forgot his name, but Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns, and which is to, to Sunday night, which that will take place. But well, Saturday night had a big occasion. Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair, which was exceptionally a very good match, very good fight. But the whole event as well did well, especially towards the ending. Of course, you saw that Kevin Owen, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm happy to see Stone Cold Steve Austin return into the ring. But let's start it straight from the first fight, the first match, of course, starting with Shinsuke Nakamura, Rick Boops versus the Uso guys. Usos, that match was actually quite good. It was a very good, decent, it was actually a decent opening for to start off WrestleMania. Rick Boops eventually getting himself injured, of course, trying to lift up. Jay and Jimmy at the same time popping, I reckon. I don't know, Achilles, whatever it is, causing him to injury for him to just step down. And of course, he was ineffective throughout the, the match. Shishi Nakamura done his best to actually try and keep himself into the game, you know, to keep these guys having the opportunity to actually win the title. But it was never going to happen. We all knew that two against one. The Usos eventually giving Shinsuke Nakamura the one D. For Shinsuke to get the one, two, three. The Usos pinning Shinsuke Nakamura one, two, three to win the title and retain the title. They are the longest winning SmackDown tag team champions for the longest, holding it for the longest of time. Big up to the Usos because they've done their part, which is make sure, of course, the bloodline the family stay strong, guys. Next fight as well, next match was of which I've been waiting for for a very long time. Happy Corbin versus Drew McIntyre. Do you know why? Because I've been wanting Drew McIntyre to whoop the ass of Byron Corbin. Happy Corbin, as they call him these days. And that's what exactly Drew McIntyre did. I've waited so long. Drew McIntyre with that lovely win, the clay ball and etc. Of course, Happy Corbin had his moments in that match, but the match itself was was good and it was something that you was wanted for it to just happen ever so quickly so we can get on to the rest of the night because there was big matches drew mcintyre picking up that w then later on the mysterious versus the miz and logan paul and yes of course what well, is a wrestlemania without having a celebrity coming on to fight you know you had of course um logan paul a while back and who else as well? Bad Bunny, who's been on it. So many other people, you know, has been on WWE, especially for WrestleMania. You had Ronda Rousey, who started the debut at WrestleMania, showed her face and etc. And look at her now. But yes, Logan Paul, The Miz, The Mysterios, actually disappointed towards the end, losing to Miz. You know what? Big up to Miz. He knows how to pick a win. With um, the Mysterious actually taking out Logan Paul, not knowing that the Miz was the one that was the legal man that tagged in again for Logan Paul, never knew that. With the Mysterious putting all their energy into knocking out Logan Paul, Miz coming out of nowhere, giving him, giving Rey Mysterio the one, two, three at the end of the day. Oh, Rey Mysterio. 
try to keep your family's name in honor and you have failed. But nevertheless, moving on to that, my girl, Bianca Belair versus Becky Lynch. What a fight. What a match. A very, very good match indeed. It went through the distance. Bianca Belair going back and forth with Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch, one hell of a fighter, one hell of a wrestler. But big enough to Becky Lynch to get in that one, two, three. Yes, that goal to sleep was well-deserved. And it's been coming. You know one thing about Becky Lynch, you know, when she won the title for the first time? I, I didn't enjoy it. It was too quick. It was cheating. I was like, what the hell? But it's been waiting for a long time. It's been so long since SummerSlam. And Becky Lynch deserves it. She's such, not, she, I mean, not Becky Lynch. I mean, Bianca Belair deserves it. She's such an, whoa. She's, she's such a, an amazing athlete. Like, strong and etc. You, you can think of her as, let's say, for example, another example of Charlotte Flair. Natural athlete. Strong, fast, everything. She's got it, all the intelligence in the ring. She's beautiful as well. So big up to Bianca Belair. Forget that WWE, forgetting the WWE Raw Women's Champion. So she is now WWE Raw Women's Champion. And I believe, I think it's the first time, if not maybe the second time. The next fight, which shocked us all, Seth freaking Rowling, of course, had a match, but with who? 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 Not the least that hasn't been to the WWE for a very long time, for about nine years. Cody Rhodes. Finally returned to the WWE. Wow. I thought you was in AEW, my brother. So you have left AEW. So it seems like WWE have finally brought back Cody Rhodes and he's back into the WWE business. I don't, it doesn't seem like he will be going back to AEW. But what a match he had with Seth Rowland. A good match as well. That also went to the distance. Uh, I have to say, Conor Rhodes, what a fighter, what a wrestler. But he got that W. He won it straight, fair. And Seth Rollins, of course, he was waiting for his WrestleMania moments. And he never got that. It's unfortunate for him. Another fight that went on after that was Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair. Wow, what a fight. Ronda Rousey coming up with new moves, new attacking attributes to add to her, what do you call it, a wrestling repertoire. Yes, yes. But Charlotte Flair... Got to give it to her. Hats to that woman. Being able to get that W against Ronda Rousey. And Ronda Rousey was so unlucky. So unlucky. Because she made Charlotte Flair tap. She tapped so many times. About 35 times if I was counting. But the referee was knocked out due to Charlotte Flair spears in the referee. Yes. Unfortunately, Ronda Rousey couldn't capitalize in that situation when Charlotte Flair was tapping out. For her to go to the referee to get, get his attention, to make him wake up. And when the referee woke up, Charlotte Flair, bang, right in the kiss of her leg. To knock out Ronda Rousey. And it's the one, two, three. Yes. Charlotte Flair pick up the W. And still, WWE SmackDown Women's Champion. The main event itself. Stone Cold Steve Austin being invited into the KO show. Kevin Owens show. I thought it was only going to be a show where... Kevin Owen comes on, talks for a bit. Stockholm comes out. Yes, that which did take place and which did happen. With Stockholm coming out, talking a bit of shit, and then giving him a little bit of a Stockholm stone and chatting shit over his face. But no, no, guess what? We got Stockholm to finally wrestle after 19 years. And it was beautiful. They finally had a wrestling match. Stockholm had his, he did say he had his first wrestling match at Texas. And he will, looks like he will be having his last wrestling match in Texas. And that took place. Stone Cold Steve Austin giving Kevin Owen a can of whoopers. But Kevin Owens did hold up his weight as well. He did have his opportunity to strike, putting Stone Cold on the floor a couple of times. But Stone Cold eventually giving Kevin Owen that Stone Cold stunner. Let, let's not forget that Kevin Owen gave him a stunner too. But of course, Stone Cold Steve Austin stunner was the most effective. So Cold stunning the hell out of Kevin Owen with the one, two, three, getting that pin for getting that win. Cause miserated, celebrating with the fans, drinking the beer, drinking the buds. Oh, and my guy Byron Saxon had to come out and fell for the beat. Met fell for the bait. I'm sorry. He fell for the bait. 
He wanted to live his WrestleMania moment by drinking a cold butt with Stone Cold Steve Austin. But didn't you know, when you come onto that ring and drink a cold butt with Stone Cold Steve Austin, you end up getting stunned. And that's what exactly what happened to my guy, Baron Saxon. But this guy, this has been your match, I mean, your wrestling reaction for WrestleMania 38 day one. Overall, I thought it's 304. I'm just looking forward to the second day where those big colossus fight will happen ah oh, i'm so looking forward to it guys you guys let me know exactly what you thought of uh, wrestlemania 38 which match was the, your favorite match what did you think of the, the main event stoko steve was versus kevin owen the ronda rousey and charlotte flair fight let me know what you think and are you looking forward to day two which you will see another reaction for tomorrow later on in the day for those who are in the US, probably when you wake up the following day, you'll see the match reaction. And for those in the UK, it will probably be later on in even in the evening as I finish work. But yes, guys, as always, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united because your boy is out. Peace out. Boom.